Exactly. So I'm mixing it up, I'm doing upper body, lower body, light. Like I said earlier, man, he here is, you know, going through an injury. Pay attention to your body, pay attention to how you feel. I pay attention to my body all the time. And just try to find the alignment, try to find the angle that it's not going to feel so discomforting, discomforting. Uh, Work through it, push through it, little by little, little, little reps, you know what I'm saying, body weight, I do a lot of body weight squats every day, I've been doing body weight squats every day throughout my day, getting the blood flow, you know what I'm saying, so today was my day, my first day back on the leg press, uh, I said I'll pay attention to my body and the form, so man, I did good, I, I went to like 315, not bad, but also gotta pay attention to how I feel, you know what I'm saying? So I believe from experience, if you don't work through your through your challenges, if you don't work through your hardships, if you don't work through pain, you just wanna stay stagnant. And what happens when you stay stagnant, then your body starts to soften up. You feel me? You don't want that. You don't want your body to soften up. So I went up to the leg press, I was gonna say that with goblin squats, uh, regular Dumbbell squats. Now, now I'm gonna do pull-ups, high repetitions, 20 reps, pull-ups. I'm um, gonna superset that with uh, bicep curls, reverse palm grip, tricep kickbacks. That's three exercises. Shoulder press four, supersets. Uh, dumbbell circuit. That's gonna be dumbbell deadlifts with the 40-pound dumbbells. 20 reps of dumbbell deadlifts, uh, dumbbell chainsaws. Goblet squats, mountain climbers, and I'm doing jump squats. That's what I'm finish off today. 20 reps every day. 20 reps. And you fall on your fucking face. Like something bad happens. Yeah. You learn a really hard lesson. Well, when you get back up and you choose to keep moving, you take the lesson that you just learned and you put that in your tool belt. Right. Okay, and by just having that lesson in your tool belt that you can fall back on and learn now, now your potential has expanded on the back end. Right. So like, as you get skills, your potential will expand. So that's why I say it's about pursuing your own true potential because no matter how good you fucking get, there's still more that you could do. Like Jeff Bezos, bro, that guy could accomplish so much more uh, and, and, and truly solving the world because of the journey that he's been on. Yeah. You understand? Uh, yeah. Now, whether or not he chooses to continue to do that, some people get tired along the way. You know, that man is, you know, whether you love him or hate him, I, it, no different to me. I guarantee he worked his fucking ass off. And he might just say, fuck it, I'm going to fucking live some life. And that's okay, too. But the point is, is that you have to be aware that you will never actually get there, all right? And that's where people get frustrated and hung up at. They want to get there. You're never going to get there. If you just decide that you're going to enjoy the journey and you're going to appreciate the good times and the bad times because they both teach you things and that you know tomorrow when the sun comes up, you're gonna get the fuck up and keep going, that's a place where you can find true fulfillment because you, you understand the expectations of what's reality. If, you, if you're constantly living and you're constantly thinking, I'm going to get there, 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 you're never going to get there. Yeah. You're never going to get there, bro. I mean, think about how demoralizing that is, too. That's like, right. At the time it of death, away. it's like, damn, I never even fucking... Yeah, and it refuses to allow us to appreciate what we have learned and what we have been through. And it's, you know, a lot of people confuse... Bro, listen, I've won every material fucking prize you can win. Like, there's not a motherfucking thing on this earth I couldn't do financially. Not a fucking thing. Yeah. Okay? That ain't where it is. Now, is that cool? Yeah, because I get to have a lot of fun, and I love I love to... I mean, bro, it's a lot better than being fucking broke. <laughs> okay? Uh, I get to do good things for other people that I wouldn't normally do. I don't have to worry about the same shit. But now I worry about, like, even more important shit. Because, like, now it's not about me. It's about everybody else. And think about that moral burden that you start to think about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... The point is, is that there's going to be resistance whatever path you take. If you take the path of just being a loser and not doing shit with your life, your life is going to fucking suck and that's going to be the price that you pay. But if you take the path of 
you know, self-actualization and understanding what your purpose is and moving towards that every day, that's going to be hard on the front end because you got to do a lot of work and, you know, you're going to trip and fall. You're going to get embarrassed sometimes. You're going to get hurt sometimes. You're going to go through dark times. But the point is, is that your life will actually become um, easier by the terms that other people look at easy hard by just accepting that it's going to be this path. So, you know, because they're both fucking hard. Yeah, it's choose your heart, bro. I've been like, you—that's a common meme, yeah. right? I'm the fucking first motherfucker to said that back in 2012. I have, I got still got the fucking graphic. I made it. Yeah. Okay. It says being broke is hard. Be, being successful is hard. Being broke is hard. Choose your heart. I, I thought it up in like three fucking seconds. Now it's like out there, like right, right, you right. know, whatever, dude. And that's fine because the message usually gets out. I'm just saying. I said it first, motherfucker. So. The point is, is that, dude, you young guys, and even you guys who are 30 or 35, you're still so fucking young. Bro, I'm young, okay? You, And you can stay young if you take care of your shit, all right? It's just like a new car, bro. Take care of that motherfucker. It'll look good 50 years from now. Um, and that's coming from someone who abused the fuck out of their body, dude, for a long time, bro. I was 350 fucking pounds. Like, there's redemption to be had if you're willing to do the work. But my point is, is for you guys who are, who are out there and you're like, you know you're at the beginning of your journey. Fucking, bro, fucking go. Don't fucking hide. Don't fucking, you know, don't be, uh, be a person that does good shit. Be a person that builds people up. Be a person that makes people better. And, and fucking go after whatever that juice might be inside. Because, dude, that shit, like you, you struggling to find that will be the, that will be the shit you're most proud of in life. Most people aren't willing to do that work. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, it is Q&A, though. We got some questions. Uh, and guys, remember, these are your questions, okay? Uh, you guys uh, can email your questions into askandy at andyforsella.com. They can be about anything. Um, Andy gets no heads up on these questions. It's straight, raw, authentic. Yeah. Fire. Raw dog. Raw dog. Raw dog gets some questions. <laughs> Just like I raw dog them headlines, too. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. right. Uh, so let's get into it, man. Andy, question number one. It's like I raw dog that air when everybody else wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, raw, no shit. <laughs> raw dog and air, bro. <laughs> That's going to be the next shit. thing to be, be coined 10 years They're from now. They're about to bring this shit back again. They're going to try. Holy shit. I'm still going to be raw dog in the air, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> raw dog for life. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Andy, question number one. Here's, uh, a, here's, a, here's a rule about real AF. Take 50% of what I say and throw it out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Raw dog in the air. Yeah. It's a good one. All right, let's go. All right, so... Uh, Put your Andy, game face on. Yeah, Andy, fucking around, DJ. Yeah, come on. Fuck, Zayed. Yes, Zayed. The fuck? fuckers. Um, so question number one, Andy. What have you found to be the best way to attack and overcome procrastination? Specifically coming from the waiting for the right time, waiting for perfection versus just being lazy. Like, what have you learned the best way to attack procrastination? Look, dude. Uh, well, first of all, there's two answers there. One, <clears throat> I, t I call this a production pivot. This is a hack I use to get me to move. Mm -hmm. All right. And he's talking about the la this is about the lazy part of it, because most people suffer from the lazy part of it. Um, they lie and tell themselves is the other part. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I just don't know how I want to attack it. Yeah. All right. Let First of all, motherfucker, go after that path. Whatever the fuck that is, just go. Because what you're going to learn, even if it doesn't work out, is going to help you get where you want to go. So don't, the waiting for the right time, that's a fucking bullshit thing, okay? Uh, you, once you get into a higher level of business, you know, you're doing hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, there's some strategy, like a chessboard, how you're going to want to move. Yeah. You're probably not there yet. And you will understand that when you get there, okay? But... Right now, what you have to understand is you have a lot of skills that you need to learn, and the way you're going to learn, the way you're going to get better, is you're going to go after these crazy fucking ideas that you think need to be happening within whatever it is you're working on, okay? So that's the first thing. So for, for the sake of the fucking lesson and the tool that you're going to gain from doing it, I would go down that path as hard as possible. And now, because your competitors, competition is a real thing, bro. It is real. Like, people want to say, oh, there's enough for everybody. There is enough for everybody. But if you want to, like, 